Hello there and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use PyWin Auto. So PyWin Auto is a GUI automation module for Microsoft Windows operating systems in Python. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you two examples that allow you to uh, automate. One is Notepad and the second one is uh, the calculator application. So let's get to it. Uh, let's create a folder PyWin Auto. And here we will create a virtual environment PyWin Auto. <coughs> Once the virtual environment is created, what we can do is activate it and pip install PyWin Auto. So once uh, the module is installed, oh, wonderful. Uh, let's open up our favorite uh, ID or text editor. In my case, it's code. And just create the calculator.py. So how do we go about that? What we have to do is to import the sub process modules popen function and the pi win auto modules desktop class. So what we are going to do is to use the popen calc.exe and the shell is equal to true. After that, what we would like to do is to create the dialog variable and we will have the desktop with the backend UIA and we refer to the calculator. And we say that we would like to wait until it becomes visible. So now let's run it. Uh, Calculator.py. And of course it opens in my other window. So here we are. Uh, you know what? What I'm going to do is to import the sleep from the time module. And what I will do is to put a sleep here. So uh, the next thing that I want to do is to figure out how I can push the individual, individual buttons. So for example, I would like to add three and eight. And I would like to use the equal sign. In order to do that, what we have to do is to copy paste this into a Python shell. And basically here we will have the dialog. So if we shoot the deer dialog, we should have something called print control identifiers. So control identifiers are going to be basically the buttons that you can push on this calculator. So if we print it here, what if you scroll up, you will find here the buttons. Zero, one, let me grab the calculator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the decimal separator. And this is inside the number pad group box. So here. And what I would also like to use is the plus sign and the equals. So now what I would like to do is to call, let me resize it, the dialog dot three dot click. So I would like to click the three. And as you can see, oh, you cannot see it. So 
if I click it once again, I should be able to use it. So click, click, click. So what I would like to do is the following. Let's close this application. And uh, <coughs> here, once it becomes visible, I would like to use the dialog 3.click, the dialog plus dot click, the dialog 8 dot click, and I also need the, the, the plus equals button. So dialog that equals that click. So let's wait for three seconds. And after that, uh, I would like to see how these buttons get pushed. So here, we have three seconds. And as you can see, we have pushed the buttons. All right, let's give it a sleep one here, here, and here. And now if we rerun it, you can see three plus eight equals 11. So this is one that I wanted to show you. And we also have a different application that we can automate. So basically, let's say we want to automate the notepad. So notepad.py. From pywinauto, that application, we import the application. And we create our application by starting the notepad.exe. And then we refer to the untitled notepad. And we say that we want to use the menu select edit and time slash date. So what happens here is that we go open up a notepad, go to the edit and select the time and date. So if I run this, I should see the notepad appear and then uh, the value uh, should be visible, the time. So Python notepad.py. And there we go. Here we have the value. So what I can also do, uh, menu select is basically a way for you to tell that uh, you would like the automation to select the menu which is the edit and an item from the menu. Uh, you could also say, let's open up a new notepad, that you would like to use the view, zoom, zoom in. So uh, <coughs> let's do that. App.untitled notepad.menu select and zoom, no, not view, zoom, zoom in. So view, zoom, zoom in. And uh, let's do it like a few times. Now, if I run this, you can see that it became bigger. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's import from the time the sleep and this should make it more visible. So sleep one 
and what I would like to do is to run it 10 times. So 4i in range 10 and yeah, let's run it. I have no notepad and as you can see every second the message gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> so that's one thing and uh, we can also go ahead and use the edit. So edit is the text box and we can send the text there. So app.untitled notepad dot edit dot send not send type keys and this is really cool and this is also cool and let's give it a new line character another new line character <laughs> How should we do it? Oh, let's leave it here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is really cool. This is also cool. All right. I think it should be carriage return. Or not, we will see. Uh, there is an argument which is called with spaces, and if you set it to true, it will uh, preserve the sp white space that you send in the string. So let's do it. And voila. Now oh, you can see we have the white spaces. And uh, basically that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. Uh, by this technique you could iteratively select the save as, find this box and click the save. Alright, see you in the